Whakataka tahau ki te uru, whakataka tahau ki te tonga, ki a mā kinekina ki uta, ki a mā taratara ki tai, ehi aki ana, ki atākura, he tio, he hoka, he hauhonga, te he mauriora. I was so looking forward to being at the opening of Casey Hart with Robert Burke and Sharon English, the key donors for the hut, and Dennis Marshall from the New Zealand Nature Fund and our own Te Papatafai staff. Uh, this Casey Hut's quite special to me personally. Uh, it was built in 1969 and I remember going there nearly 50 years ago with my parents. And then in 2012, when we opened it as a mountain bike route, I was one of the first people to mountain bike. A little bit of history, the original hut was one of our first Lockwood designs in Arthur's Pass National Park. In October 2015, uh, a group of trampers arrived and found the hut had been smouldering for two days. And we'll never know the, the core reason why. And I guess through the media, the public could see we were struggling with what to do, how to replace it. And then Sharon and Robert came forward with this incredible donation and just showing what a real partnership we can have with, with people that generally want to make a difference uh, for our back country. My association with the old Casey Hut goes back many years. It was in fact one of the first backcountry huts that I visited when I first came to New Zealand over 40 years ago. The extensive hut and track system in New Zealand must be second to none in my experience anywhere, of anywhere else in the world. So donating funds to rebuild this hut is a way of expressing my gratitude to the system that has put it all in place. Hey, whakatū whedatanga, e rangi, e papa, e te whānau atua, whakatōhia, te koutou, manākitanga, Ki roto tēnei mahi o mātou. Mihi mai, mihi mai, mihi mai. In its wider sense, huts have many uses. If you were to arrive at a hut, it's cold, it's raining, you're tired, it's a place to get yourself sorted and organise a brew. And huts are great places for companionship. But both Sharon and I have stayed overnight here and we commend this place to you, to those of you who use this hut. Treat it with the reverence that you would of your own home. Pay your hut fees and when you come to leave, we hope that you will take some good memories with you. Well, the New Zealand National Parks and Conservation Foundation uh, manages funds uh, from donors and contributors to conservation projects uh, in New Zealand. Uh, we have uh, launched a fund called the New Zealand Nature Fund and the purpose of the new brand is to actively fundraise and that's quite a significant change uh, from being a manager to a fundraiser. We have two very generous donors, uh, Robert Burks and Sharon English, who have contributed the majority of the funds to enable a new Casey Hut to be built. Uh, but Robert of course has funded uh, a hut in the Waiau Valley and we commend them for their philanthropy. They've really set a terrific example for others to follow. Like many in the outdoor community, FMC were very surprised when the internal recommendation came through that Casey Hut and Arthur's Pass National Park not be replaced. We knew that it was a really special place for many New Zealanders and many visitors to our country, so we decided to survey the outdoor community to see what they thought about the hut. And in the end, we got 251 responses from across the country, with people just saying ex just how much they enjoyed Casey Hut and how they thought it should be replaced. 94% of those 251 people wanted the hut to be replaced. Then of course the question turned to, well, how do we do that? What can we find in that space to make it work? But in the end, the answer came from a place that we didn't quite expect private funding. So on behalf of FMC and the entire outdoor community, a massive thank you to Robert and Sharon for their generosity in allowing the new Casey Hut to open. A huge thank you to Doc staff in the area for their tenacity in seeing this whole thing through. And finally, a massive thank you to our outdoor community who stood up, worked with FMC to have their voices heard. The really exciting thing about this new Casey Hut is it gives us an opportunity to connect people with the nature uh, that we all identify with. So here at the KC Hut, you'll have the opportunity in the middle of Arthur's Pass National Park to experience some of our rarest wildlife, including the orange-fronted kakariki, New Zealand's rarest forest bird, as well as kia, mohua, and a range of other species. 
while it is a great recreational opportunity for you to take your family and friends, it's also a really crucial opportunity to connect and remember that here in New Zealand we identify with the nature around us and we want to be able to experience that for ourselves. And Polka really is the gateway for so many Canterbury people and, and New Zealanders who you don't necessarily know about these real hidden gems that set up this magnificent valley and through Robert and, and Sharon and the New Zealand Nature Fund we really want New Zealanders to come and enjoy this incredible place of the gift of Casey Hutt along with Te Papa Atafai. Kira koutou, koutou, thank you. Kara kia whakamutanga, kia tau, kia tātou katoa, ta atawhai o tātou āraki, ta ihu karaiti, me te āraha e ta atua, me te fiwhinga tahitanga, i te wairua tapu, ākani, ākani, āmeni.